Miami is best known for its year-round sunshine and the round-the-clock nightlife on South Beach. This week, Live Golf's greatest are on a business trip. It's the team championship, head-to-head, -head, win and move on, with $50 million on offer. So how do the semi-finals line up? Four teams got a buy. The four aces picked first. They picked the cliques. The crushers surprised everybody. They picked Stinger, the fourth seeds. Fireballs against Punch. Smash against the Majestics. All right, we have some, as we were told in our meeting, some heavyweight battles out there today, and they're going to be fun to watch. DeChambeau, this is a heavyweight battle in and of itself right here. Yeah. That was a looking good look for some stroke. right to left, breaking away from the water. Yeah, that's the start he was looking for. Or Dustin Johnson, rather, looked like he'd left his uh, second shot a little right, but turns out it's just fine. Yeah. Yeah, looks like the start the big fellow was looking for. Alcurdy now didn't find the water with his second shot, but not in a good spot here. All in all, that is pretty good right there. Well, he made his debut on Live Golf in Boston, aged 18. He turned 19 the day after, carding a 66. This is Chase, Co uh, Chase Kepka and Jason Kokrak. Uh, team smashing the foursomes and they go a hole up in their matchup against Henrik Stenson and Sam Horsfield of the Majestics. This is now Dustin for a birdie to win the hole. Not much in this one at all. Yeah! Good start for Dustin. He birdies the first hole to go one up. Taylor Gooch on the tee at the fourth. Ball right there, brother. Oh, fantastic shot. Pat Perez in the foursomes for the four aces with Taylor Gooch, and they go a one up, winning the 14th. Good start for that duo in the foursomes. This is Wade Ormsby at the eighth, and that ties thing up. Things up for Team Punch against the Fireballs. They are all square in the foursomes. Brooks Kepka against Poulter. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a beauty. Patrick Reed would win the third hole against Laurie Cantor thanks to this shot. Brandon Grace, his second shot at the tough 18th. against Paul Casey. What a shot. Let's head to the seventh. Kim's got some kind of wedge in his hand. Obviously can attack it. Uh, so much easier from the fairway. And Smith with the chance to win the whole knock. Leishman is winning holes. He won four and two yesterday. He's all square at the moment against Carlos Ortiz after winning that hole. Chase Kepka for Team Smash in the foursomes to tie 13 against Stenson and Horsfield. Fails to make it. Louis Oosthuizen had two putts against Bryson DeChambeau to win. The hole on 18, he would make the second of those, and he is now one down for Team Stinger against Bryson's Crushers. Uh -huh. Ooh, oh, lunchtime. Uh, yeah, come on, on you get can it do straight. it. Go on. Can do it. Hey. One up. Here's Henrik Stenson of the Majestics playing in the foursomes, the alternate shot. At the 14th, his second shot. That ball just doesn't move in the air. Wow. I've never seen anybody who hits it straighter with Straight. more consistency. DJ to win at four. Oh, he hasn't missed one yet. Oh, wow.
Peter Uline against Lee Westwood. Smash against the Majestics, USA against Europe, and Uline puts that away. He's one up on Lee Westwood. Here's Laurie Cantor. Second shot at six. One down against Patrick Reed. Yeah, another beauty. Well, it's been a topsy-turvy tussle so far between Paul Casey and Brandon Grace. Grace was two down after two. And this to go one up. Oh. It's men against boys at the moment. But hey, this is for a half. He struggled up here. The wind is strong. He was into the wind, this tee shot, and he tried to hit a low one off the tee. He came over the top of it, clattered into some palm trees, but he did draw an awful lie. This for the half. Oh, well oh, done. Yes. Oh. Well, that's a great moment for Shergo Al Kurdi. Well, thousands have turned up here at Doral today. This is Laurie Cantor to win the sixth against Patrick Reed and to bring it back to all square. And Cantor, who won on the final hole yesterday against Jed Morgan, is doing well again today. Taylor Gooch to win the seventh for the four aces. He's partnered with Pat Perez for the four aces. This is to win three holes in a row. Beautifully red. Now comes on a roll two up against Sergio Garcia. Back at the fourth. Henny Duplessis. That's so right Lahiri he hit it right over the flag right, stick. Duplessis yeah. answers him yeah. with that one. Yeah. Well. Elsewhere, Jason Kokrak against Stenson and Horsfield for Team Smash. He's not from there, is he? Yes, he is. Smash. And the Majestics in the foursomes are all square. Lee Westwood against Peter Uline in the singles. Two putts to win the hole, which he would manage. And that gets it back to one down against Peter Uline. Let's head out and catch up with Brooks Kepka. Holt is in the bunker. Kepka is in tight against Ian Poulter here. He has this bunker shot, another bunker shot for Poulter. But his lie is good in the bunker. Lots of green to work with. Well judged. Bryson DeChambeau. For the Crushers, remember he selected Team Stinger, who are the fourth seeds. This to go three up on the third, and he manages to. That was against Louis Oosthuizen. Matt Jones for punch to go one up against Chakara. An answer of the fireballs. Oh, yes! Well, the 12th. Over the ball a long time. Left of the touch right. Not much. Beautiful shot. Well, we saw Ortiz in flag high right. Mark Leishman now with his third shot at the gigantic par 5 12. Oh! That'll work. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Ortiz conceded Leishman's putt. This was to tie the hole, and he made it on the 12th. Carlos Ortiz remains at two down against Mark Leishman. Now Lee and Mick Doran there trying to figure out whether this wind is helping a little or hurting a little. It is left to right. Did they get it right? Oh, they got it dead right. It's Abe Anser from the edge of the 16th. A little stubby chip there. Hello! Goodbye. Back to 12 for what is going to be the pivotal match, it looks like, with Laurie Cantor two up on Patrick Reed. And Dustin Johnson probably just a few holes away from ending his victory over Shergo.
This match could decide who advances for a chance at the massive pot of gold. This is all square. You're right. You're right. A chance yeah, for Richard Bland, who 49 years old. Really, Jerry thought he was in the twilight of his career. Has played so beautifully since he came over to live. Let's go to the tee at 15. Sergio Garcia. Shortest par three on the golf course. Getting the hole. 158 yards. Oh. Dart from Sergio. Pat Perez, one of the great characters out here in professional golf. Yeah. I'll always let you know how he feels. He'll feel pretty darn good about that one. Now Patrick Reed to half Laurie Cantor's lead here. Reed is two down. Turn right in the center of beautiful putt, and Patrick Reed needs that. Third of the first here for Carlos Ortiz. And Leishman would give him the birdie. Leishman one up. Well, Shergo, perhaps not ready to go home yet for the Cleeks. This to extend the match. He's walking after it already. That's why. And he gets it back to four down. The first hole he has won all day. Henrik Stenson to win the sixth and get it back to two down against Smash. Maybe that's not over yet. Brooks Kepka on the green at five. He's three up against uh, Ian Poulter. This is his second Leave shot. Leave it. Oh, there's a great effort from Poulter. Three down with four to play. 15. 19-year-old Jordanian has got to pop this in the holy field. Has to win this hole. Boy, oh, that was a good effort from the young man. The captain of the four races had two putts to win his match against Shergal. I'll tell you what, I'll just do it in one. Five and three, the first point of this quarter-final for the top seeds, but the other two matches in the balance. Now then, the Crushers, Paul Casey against Brandon Grace. This to win the 12th hole for Paul Casey, and he makes it, and he's one up against Brandon Grace. Deschambeau is one up against Louis Oosthuizen, but Stinger a one up in the foursomes. And he's... This Put the two up. Oh, Park. Yeah. Oh, same yeah. hometown as Ernie Els. Peter Uline. Two putts to win the match against Lee Westwood. Yeah, I'll do it in one as well. Four and two, the victory for Peter Uline against Lee Westwood. Cantor at 17. Got to be happy with that one. They've been making 30 footers on us. Yeah. We, can't, we can't get ahead of them. Well, they are one up. Gotcha. But they can't it. get away. Yeah. Come on. Approach at 17. Oh. Uh, two terrific shots into 17 there. What a match. One more point required. Where is it going to come from? Will it be in the foursomes? Perez and Gooch against McDowell and Bland. Or in the singles? To win the hole. To go two up with two to play. Does Ian Poulter need to hold this realistically to stay alive? It was a good attempt. It didn't go in. Smash her through to the finals. That's Abe answer to square the match, force extra holes. The other singles match involving these two teams is Mark Leishman one up on the final hole against Ortiz. No. Some caps are off. Uh, head scratching there. A point a to punch. Cantor at 18 playing his second. He's one up over Reed, two to play. Reed's in the greenside bunker. Oh, beauty. 
What a shot! It just <laughs> keeps bringing it. And Laurie Cantor to win the match against Patrick Reed and to level the scores at 1-1 with the outcome of the foursomes still to be decided. Oh, we hit a good oh, putt. Goodness me, Laurie Cantor, the pride of the West Country in England. What a magnificent performance by the young man. He's beat the major champion, Patrick Reed. Yeah, yeah, I think to extend the match, and he failed to make the putt. And punch off through. Louis Oosthuizen to extend the match. Oh my goodness, he has done on their final hole. Sergio to seal victory over Cam Smith. He does so. Paul Casey to extend the match against Brandon Grace, and he does so. They'll go to extra holes. Well, this is Oosthuizen's shot. Has really fought back. Louis Oosthuizen. Pretty swing there. The force of match on its final hole. One up for Stinger. Lahiri, that was to extend the match, so Stinger have won the foursomes. They are 1-0 up against Crushers with both singles matches in extra holes. Well, Louis Oosthuizen in is inside, Bryson DeChambeau on the first extra hole. Makes it! Wow! Can Louis Oosthuizen match him? to tie it. Oh, he right in the middle. It's this any good. <laughs> Whilst that was happening, Paul Casey for the Crushers. Extra hole, number 16. Oh, what a shot from the St. Augustine Brass. This to extend the match and the clique's hopes and dreams. Will it turn? No, he won't. The Cleeks fought tooth and nail against the number one seeds. The four aces. A huge sigh of relief for Perez and Gucci. It went all the way. Well, two matches left out here on the park. It's obviously boost hazen first. Not a lot of break on this. A little uphill just at the very get-go. Then it's slightly downhill all the way up. Gave it a chance. Wow. Casey's punt will be to win the hole and win the, their match. Paul Casey. It's turned oh, it. It's in. Paul Casey beats Brandon Grace in a playoff. And it's Crushers one, Stinger one, and it goes down to the captains. Four races are there. Smash are there. The Aussies of Team Punch are there. Will it be the Crushers or Stinger? It's down to the decider in the singles. That's a good putt. Send the crushers into the final. Didn't like it, but it turned, uh, but not soon enough. Could hardly have hit a better putt. And on we go. Two, one of the more iconic holes in golf. Yeah. up there <laughs> miles up there <laughs> oh, there is a picture a video of that shot in the dictionary next to clutch <laughs> well, you can see the little against the grain squale that is uh, in front of Deschambeau here 
finish it first. He got it there. That was a good effort. <laughs> this to advance. Let's go to the first. <laughs> a fifth extra hole to decide our fourth and final finalists. That is dangerous. That and it's wet. wet. Yeah. That's wet. It's way left wet. Not dead yet. Part five. Yep. But huge, huge air and tee shot there. Louis Ostasen, he won an open championship by what, seven? Eight shots. That'll do nicely. Well, he's not going to three putt from there. Bryson has to pitch it in for five and hope Louie misses, or this is all over. In the hole! In the hole! In the hole! That may be a concession. I might see one putt. <laughs> no, no, yeah. There it is. Well, it took 23 holes of nail-biting golf to separate them, but Louis Oosthuizen has defeated Bryson DeChambeau in the deciding singles match. Stinger are through. The Crusher's season ends. So these are the four teams, the four races, Stinger, Smash and Punch, who will play for the team championship tomorrow. Absolutely electric day of match play golf.